Welcome back to the 207 Kitchen at Old Main Studios. With us today, Chef Bo Byrne from the Culinary Program at Southern Maine Community College. So we got in touch with Bo and said, let's make some dishes that you make at home for yourself after a long day at work, things that come together easily and quickly. And Bo said, we're going to make some tacos. That's it. That's it. Probably every Tuesday or so at my house is when this creeps onto the table. Some version of tacos. So maybe you're doing ground beef tacos and this is just a different version to get inspired by. So this is a really simple homemade jerk seasoning okay. that I did here on top of this chicken thigh. This has in it brown sugar, ground ginger, allspice, uh, cinnamon, clove. I'll guarantee you have most of these things at the house already. They're already in the pantry. You don't, you don't have to go to the store for these. Okay. I heated a pan with just a little bit of oil. And we're going to sear this up for There's hardly any oil a few in moments. There. Yeah, har hardly any just oil. Really? Just just enough to have the the chicken not stick to the pan is okay. really all that we're going for. Okay. We're not we're not really looking to fry this chicken here. Okay. So we've got about four minutes per side on chicken thighs like this. You could use chicken breasts if you want to as well. You could use fish if you wanted to in different times for different things. You could also just go right to ground beef, ground turkey, ground chicken. That's all delicious. The beauty of tacos, you can go in a lot of different that, directions. That's it. So here we are, four minutes each side. We'll put you here in about nine minutes or so. While that's going on, there's an opportunity to make this incredible mango jalapeno salsa. So what I do is I do some, uh, some, some red onions. I do some bell peppers. You could do yellow, red, whatever you're really into. We'll do some mango here, diced mango. And one really neat trick when you're dicing a mango, this is the concept called the hedgehog, where you score the mango to the point where now I can kind of pop it up onto its side like this. And now you can really easily take the knife and work across the top. I'll just do about half of it just to show. Oh yeah, so much easier. Right, and now, and now these will just slide right off of the mango just like that. So again, that's the hedgehog. There's a couple different tricks you can do. You can also use a cup if it's ripe enough and you can use a glass and actually scrape them right out of there too. Has to be really ripe in order to pull that one off though. These are the tips that we get from a culinary instructor. That's it. And they're useful. <laughs> And your face lit up when you were telling us about this salsa. This is something you really like. Isn't I, it? I love this one. This is so delicious. And, and you can really personalize this a bunch of different ways. If you're really into heat, you can add a little bit more jalapeno or habanero or get into some of the other peppers that are out there. Um, same with cilantro. If you don't like it, don't add it. You know, this is an opportunity for you to do what you like. Sometimes I add some chipotle adobo to mine. And I add usually a little bit of some honey to this as well, a little bit of honey um, and some lime juice. And then we give it a, 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 a pulse or two in the blender. Right. And that's what gives it this effect here now. So I can take this salsa. You don't have to spend all day on perfect knife work. If you're going to put it in the blender anyway and give it a couple great pulses, it's going to look like this and no one's going to know. So save your time on the knife work. Just do a rough chop and then throw it in the blender. Give it a good pulse. And now you're good to go. Great suggestion. So I think we're ready to probably chicken's work to on plating this. Yeah, our chicken's ready to go. I'll take one of those sets of shells and then we'll bring over one of these thighs right out of here. And you could go about this a couple different ways. You could, um, you could shred this with the fork, you know, do, some, do something kind of like this, have it rip apart, or you could just introduce the knife back to it and you could do some slice. Slice chicken thighs like this. What I, again, really enjoy about the chicken thighs is they maintain their moisture. They stay really juicy. When you're messing around sometimes with chicken breasts in particular, they can be really dried out. So chicken thighs are very, very forgiving here. You've talked about that before. They're more forgiving, they're more accommodating. Absolutely. Less likely to go wrong. Absolutely. So now we have here our shells. You probably want to warm them ever so slightly, either on the stovetop mm -hmm. or in the oven like we did here. And then I'm just going to be a little bit of some cabbage on the bottom here. I like cabbage for the crunch. Maybe you just like iceberg lettuce. Personalize it however you want. A little bit of this jerk seasoned chicken. Again, the main components are the, the idea of some spice and some sweet. So the brown sugar with that chili and some of the crushed red um, and the cinnamon add some great flavor. You want to do a good helping of this mango salsa right here. Absolutely. Mango jalapeno salsa here. And again, as you put it through that blender, it's going to break it down and make it especially juicy, just like this. Maybe you have some little queso fresco cheese right over the top. 
Come at it with a couple limes, some beautiful radishes, something like this, and a little bit of some cilantro, and I think we're in business. Oh, that looks so good. And again, this is not a complicated recipe, and it comes together pretty quickly. And that's, and that's the idea. Again, while, while you are cooking the chicken, that's your time management opportunity to work on the salsa. The recipe, as always, on our website or app, just head to the 207 section of newcentermain.com. You'll find Bo's recipe for chicken tacos in this case, but again, you can adapt them, fish, beef, whatever you want, yeah. veggie tacos, do your own thing. Yeah. The recipe there, and uh, after that, just sit back and enjoy, because those look so good, and America loves tacos. How about that? Bo Byrne, <laughs> always a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thanks for, for having us. me. Stay with us. We're going to return to 207 right after this.